Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial explaining to you guys how to add AI jet aircraft to Dovetail Games Flight Sim World. First thing you want to do is come to the World of AI website to download two things. So head over to Packages and All World of AI Packages. The first thing you want to download is this, the World of AI installer for FS9 and FSX. So open that on AvSim and click on download. You may need to log into your Avdom account, but log in, download the package, and you should be fine. Next you want to then download is the airlines that you want for your AI packages. So things you need to keep an eye out for is make sure you download FSX specific airlines. Not FS9 since they will not work, and if it's only got one link, then automatically assume it's FS9 and therefore do not touch those links. So the airlines I found that work best with Flight Sim World are US Airways and Delta Airlines. So download both of these packages. Likewise, there is a US Airways pack as well further down, which you can also install. But Delta Airlines and US Airways are the packages I find work best with Flight Sim World. So click on download for both. Again, log in if you need to. And then drag and drop these files into a separate folder. Once you have downloaded the files you need, it's now time to extract them. So we'll first be dealing with the installer. What we want to do is create a new folder and just name it installer or anything you want. And drag and drop this what if AI installer 24.zip file into the installer folder. Open it up and click on the zip file. And I've used the built-in Windows extractor or any third-party program like WinRAR or 7-zip. Extract the files to here. And what it will now do is unpack all the files and set up the installer ready to use. Once the installer is ready to go, head back to World of AI folder or wherever you've set up the files and extract all the airlines you'll be installing to Flight Sim World, in my case Delta Airlines and US Airways. So one by one, extract the files to here. Now Delta Airlines. And if you get any pop-up saying to confirm a player, just click yes to all and it should be alright. What we can now do is delete both of the original zip files as the ones that the installer will be looking for is the airline name dot world of AI dot zip. So these two are the important files for this install. Once everything's ready to go and your installer has been set up and your airlines have been extracted, head to the installer folder and open up the world of AI installer dot executable file. The program will now load for the first time. And what you want to do is click on next and set it up to Flight Sim World. So in this case, select a target, select Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and click on the path file, this option here. What you can now do is head to your FSX your um, Steam common folders and look for FSW. Set this tag over here to fsx.exe. And scroll down to fsx.exe, which is used for compatibility purposes with some add-ons, and click on Open. It will now set the targets of this program to Program File Steam Steam Apps Common FSW, and then set your subfolder to Sim Object Airplanes. Once World of AI has been set up, what we can now do is click on the two dots here, and set the packages you'll be installing. So in my case, I've got the World of AI folder on my desktop, and we'll be installing each airline one at a time. So first of all, Delta Airlines. Click on Next, Agree to Disclaimer, Next, and it'll give you the package information, which you can just click on Install, and the program will automatically install the airline into Flight Sim World. Click on Restart and repeat this process for all your airlines. Likewise, you can just highlight all your packages and install it all together at the same time. So install your airlines. Program will do its automatic installer. And once complete, you should have now airlines in your flight sim world AI category. But you're not done just yet, as you now need to go to the flight sim world folder and delete a couple airlines, which will cause compatibility issues and error messages to appear in your simulator. So head to your Steam Apps Common Flight Sim World folder, head over to Sim Objects, Airplanes. 
and scroll down to where you see all these WOA files here, the world of AI airlines. All you want to do is highlight every single airline and delete the ones that do not say FSX on them. So in this case, AI Aardvark will stick underscore FSX at the bottom of the files and the um, FAIB, Federation AI Bureau, I believe that's their name, will stick FSX underscore in the middle of their name. So highlight all your aircraft and delete the ones that do not have FSX in the names as these will cause compatibility issues. Bear in mind these are Flight Simulator 2004 models. So it does limit your number of AI aircraft but they're still there in the world and should be running all right. So once you've deleted your non-FSX aircraft, it's now time to go into Steam and run Flight Sim World for the first time. Once Star Tower Games Flight Sim World has loaded, what we can now do is head over to Free Flights, select your aircraft, in this case, go for the Piper Arrow 3, select your weather conditions, fair weather, and select your departure airports, and then move your location to wherever your, wherever your AI aircraft will be. So in my, my case, US Airways and Delta Airlines are both based in the US. So we'll go to, let's go for which airport here? Louisville International, there you go. Confirm your airports and start flights. And once you're in the game, I'll free to click starts. Right click and head over to air traffic, to which you'll see some new aircraft appearing in your list, in this case Boeing 737-800 and McDonnell Douglas MD-88. Click on that and you should have jet aircraft in your flight simulator world. So as you heard that aircraft will also talk to air traffic control and will react with the environment, so in this case another Delta Airlines, this one in the air. And they will fly, they will work within the simulator and will bring your world to life a bit. Although, do note, this isn't perfect, there are, there are still some compatibility issues with the simulator. So in this case, if I head over to the A321, you can see the textures have not loaded in properly as well as the model being glitched out. Basically, the model compilation being 64-bit and a completely different system in Flight Sim World is not so well compatible with FSX and Prepare3D. So, some aircraft will appear glitched in this flight simulator world. Again, this is all trial and error to find which aircraft do work and don't work. Which is why I chose US Airways and Delta for the Embraer 190 and the MD-80, which are both perfect conversions for flight sim world. But for aircraft like this which are broken, what you can do is head to your airplanes folder, click on the aircraft that doesn't work, so in this case the A321, then just click on delete, yes. Any aircraft should now not appear again in your flight simulator. But again, for everything else, you should have some decent aircraft in the flight simulator environment. So, I hope you find this tutorial helpful for bringing your flight simulator world to life a bit with jet aircraft in international airports and larger airports, not just your general aviation, as well as reacting to air traffic control and all that. But, until then, We'll see what we can do in the future. Likewise, you never know, there might be some more AI packs releasing in the future for flights in world with real airlines. A lot of AI could update as well, and there are a couple of different communities out there, such as AI Aardvark and the um, FAIB, which both do create add-on AI aircraft for flights and mates are. So, I find this tutorial helpful. Do Delta leave a like if you did, do subscribe, and I hope I see you guys in the near future, but until then, goodbye. Turn left, heading 155, proceed to Encore, Delta 1975.